Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be updating your Mac to the newest Mac OS. Now, before you do this, make sure to do a backup of your Mac using Time Machine. Time Machine needs something built into your Mac. So let me just show you system preferences. And you do have Time Machine. Everybody has Time Machine. It's down here below. So just make a backup there and that's just in case. And also before you update, make sure all the apps that you currently use are actually available and will work on the new Mac OS. A lot of apps that you might not even think about will not even work on the new Mac OS. So do not update unless you know they're gonna work. Anyways, once you're ready, just go on the top left-hand side of your screen, you're gonna see the Apple logo. Click on the Apple logo. Now before we used to do all our updates under the App Store. However, with newer Macs, now we do everything under system preferences. So if you're not too far behind, you can just go into system preferences. And then from here on the bottom left hand side, you're going to see software update. Now, right now, this is the newest Mac OS that's going to pop up here. We're going to see software update. And in just a second, it should give us whatever is the newest. So it's going to show us the newest Mac OS right here, which is Mac OS Monterey. And it's about 12 gigs. We can also see more information. So if you click on more information, it's going to take us to the website. And right here, it's going to give us a quick introduction into it. Anyways, let's just go back. Here we go and where you can just go ahead and upgrade. Now again, if you guys are doing this on a MacBook, whether it's MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, you do need to hook it up to some electricity. Even if the battery is good, just go ahead and hook it up. Leave it charging while you're running any updates. You don't want anything bad to happen. So we're just gonna click on upgrade now. It's gonna download the update. Is it a big deal if your Mac turns off for any reason during this process? Well, downloading, not really. We can just restart the download. However, when it's installing, you do not want your Mac to die on you. So please, please, even if you're 100% of your battery, have it hooked up. It is very common for MacBooks to die out when they're installing any updates. That's because they're running a lot. Now, if you would like this downloading process to be faster, because 12 gigs could take quite a while for some people, you could hook up your Mac directly to your router using an ethernet cable. But for now, all we can do is just wait for this download to happen. Uh, at this point, you could just leave your Mac to be. We're gonna see later on Apple logo a loading bar. It's just gonna restart, install the update, and then we're gonna be done. All right, so right after we should see this. We can just press on continue. We're gonna agree to this and agree again. And here we go, we just have to choose this HD, obviously. So we're gonna go into continue putting our code if you have one, if your Mac doesn't, like mine doesn't at this point in time, it's okay. And just let your Mac do its thing. Once that's done, we're just gonna see this, just press on restart. We're gonna see a black screen and a Apple logo. And right after your updates, should be around 30 minutes or so, it depends on your Mac and your Mac speed, plus your internet, obviously, because the download, you will see this, or you will see whatever apps you had open from before. So right now you can just continue on with this. And it seems like all my apps are updated here. So I'm just gonna close this up. I'm gonna close everything else up actually. And here we go. Right now I should say that my update is all done and this is the latest one right now. So again, if you guys go back into your software updates right here, we should see that everything in fact is all done. And that would be it for this video. Anyways, if you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.